Hey guys, good afternoon. It's Saturday. We are on our way to Michael's Craft Store. We're down in Denton, which is about 30 miles south of us. It is one of the closest big cities that has shopping and things that we don't have in our little town. So every four or six weeks we end up down here for the day. And so today's that day. We just got back from the, um, we were just over at the Toyota dealership, our car dealership to um, get the the batteries changed in our little key fobs and now we're going to pick up I have a few things I want to grab at Michael's we'll probably pop into I don't know a few other places probably Target we're going to Sam's Club a few other things so I just thought I would pick up my camera and bring you guys along for our little Saturday errands day down here I hope you're having a good day we certainly are it's sunny out here for the first time in literally probably three weeks it hasn't there's been no sunshine so that's that welcome to our Saturday Okay, so I'm gonna, Riley's told me this story today over breakfast that made me laugh so hard, I basically was like crying, it was hilarious. So he's gonna tell you the story now. When I was younger, my mom babysat, and um, when I was very young, and she watched kids like my age, and so there's this one kid my age, um, Aaron, who was one of my friends growing up, but when he first came over, he was like young, he was like two or three or whatever, and he had a deep voice. Like a deep voice and his mama drop him off and he stand at the back door and watch her drive off and he was like Aah. and then um he would like look over at my mom with all these tears in his eyes and his deep voice he's like my mama come back <laughs> my mama come back and he just said this deep voice is so funny it was cracking me that must me have been so funny coming out of a two-year-old i know and he always had that deep deep voice does he still have a deep voice i don't know probably probably there's your little Riley story for the day. All right, our first stop is Michael's, which is an arts and crafts store, if you don't know. <laughs> I think you probably know. We're looking at the Christmas trees. We really want to get a Christmas tree that rotates. Have you seen those? I'm surprised. The only one I've seen is Walmart. Yeah, we saw one at Walmart. It was so great. I love this ribbon. That is so cute. All right, I just came out of Michael's and I just grabbed a few things. So we're heading on this cabin trip um, here in a few days and I just wanted to get some beads um, to make some little bracelets. I just wanted some like small beads that reminded me of Christmas for the Christmas season. It seems kind of silly but I've been looking for like a little stack um, of Christmas bracelets but I haven't been able to find them so I decided to make them. I thought that would be a fun little thing to do while we are away and relaxing. So I've got some of these kind of goldy champagne colored ones. And then I got some of the um, green and some of the red. So I thought together those would be super cute. Um, so I'm going to work on that. I'm sure I'll show you once I do it. And then I got some um, string for them. And then every year since we got married, we have bought one of these frames from Michaels, the one that has the um, the date on it, so it says 2018, and then we put a picture of, from the year in it. So, do I have my, I'll show you. Okay, so I pulled up my Instagram. Here is from the past 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017. So this is 2014 when we got engaged, then 2015 we got married, then 2016 was our um, second Christmas together and then our third Christmas together and then we have this one. Why are you laughing at me so much today? <laughs> he thinks I'm being so, because my brain is a little bit fried. So anyway, this will be a part of this little crew now. I love it. So that's all we got on Michael's, not very much. Now we are heading to the mall to pick out some Christmas candles from Bath and Body Works, right? Mm -hmm. And also I want to get a macaroon or a macaron if you want to be fancy and maybe pop into Barnes & Noble. Good day. This is what I was trying to tell you about. We are in Macy's and they are starting to put out the Christmas stuff, which is super fun. It is my dream one day to have Christmas bedding. Not exactly that, but something like Christmassy and plaid and cozy and flannel. Now we're kind of just getting back into the back part of the store. Okay, Someone. that's our doorbell. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this pillow, snuggle by the fire. It's so cute, I love that so much. I love all this like velvety, it's just so cozy, I love that. 
we're at the mall and there's this little macaroon macaron store and so we went and picked them out and we got pumpkin vanilla raspberry gingerbread salted caramel and chocolate oops i wasn't really filming it very well but there you go <laughs> yum hey y'all it's what time is it now four it's about four now and we went to michael's we went to old navy we went to the mall we haven't really bought much of anything but we bought a couple of things we're heading into sam's club now the traffic here in denton is just absolutely awful awful the infrastructure of this city cannot support the level of traffic that it has at all and so anywhere you go you just sit all day it's just horrible so we're gonna pop into sam's club try to make it quick <laughs> and then we're gonna head back up to gainesville um which we've gotten so spoiled with no traffic up there right mm. i can't stand this i already i always have hated traffic but i really can't stand it now because i'm used to driving anywhere i want with no traffic major perk of this small town life we are in sam's club riley just popped into the restroom so i'm just walking through the aisles always this aisle with like first aid supplements is empty so it's a good place to camp out if you need a break from the chaos this is so cute i can't even stand it if i were a little kid and i had this this is like my dream little cooking set Although, Keurigs didn't exist when I was little. So cute. I love Look that. Look at this double Even pretend you have twins. It's so Aww. cute. Aww. This stuff is so cute. And they have all the Christmas stuff. Well, I don't know if it's all of it, but quite a lot of the Christmas stuff is out already. Which I know some people hate and it's too early, but it's not too early for me. I can celebrate fall and simultaneously celebrate Christmas. <laughs> we made it in one piece. I really love Sam's Club, but Sam's Club on a Saturday is a little bit of a nightmare. <laughs> it's so. First thing I heard was a nightmare. It was so busy. There's just people everywhere. Did you enjoy that? It was okay. I'm like, I need to like be in a deprivation chamber after that. That was like, just a lot of people going a lot of directions. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna head home now. It's been a good day getting things done. It's about five o'clock. We've been down here for like, what, four hours or so? Yeah. I'm gonna head home, drop off some of this stuff at Riley's office, and then um, go eat dinner for ourselves. Yes. Yum. We just got home from Sam's Club and um, we're unloading and we bought this, which we've never seen before, but it's from the Cookie Dough Cafe and it's edible cookie dough as you can see so we'll have to let you know how it is we there are eight of them in here so we gave half of them to riley's mom and sister and then we're going to try the others and charlie is excited about it do you like cookie dough anyway i thought that sounded like a fun definitely a treat a fun treat for this this weekend all right, so here's today's little haul of the things that we picked up we went into macy's and we got these oven gloves um, Riley wanted them for grilling because we've been grilling a whole lot and he actually burnt his finger by accident So these were on sale um, They're normally 40 bucks and they were 65% off. So they were $13.93 which we felt like was a good deal And they're this nice thick material and they're my favorite color navy blue. So we got those. These are our leftover Macarons that we got at that little store and then I showed you this in the car But it was probably pretty hard to see I got some beads and some stretchy um I don't know what to call that string jewelry cord it says so i got that and then these are like little needles that are meant for beading so i used to beat a whole bunch when i was a little kid i used to make stuff all the time like when i was 12 13 that kind of age and i haven't done it in a while so i thought that'd be a fun little project for our trip um and then i already showed you this this little cute picture frame it does say 2018 on it but it's hard to see I also just got another Grove order in the mail, so I thought I would unbox it with you. I have been absolutely loving this company and um, I've just been so happy with everything that I've gotten so far. So this I know I got for free. I got this for free um, the last time as well and these are great and I love the scent. They're like this light minty, fra I love them. just anything that's mint scented, so I like that. This I got per one of your recommendations. One of y'all commented and said to get the um, Caldrea Tangelo Palm Frond. 
I don't know what that means, but to get this scent of countertop spray from Grove because apparently it smells a lot like whatever is used to clean in Disney. And so one of y'all said that and I immediately put it in my cart. So I can't wait to open that up and smell it and clean with it, which I have a lot of cleaning to do. Take a look. <sighs> Launch week does not go without a mess. And then I got several facial products from this a cure brand because if you've been following along then you know that I in the past have made my own and I'm just tired of doing it and I'm it's been a couple years and I want to do something else and this is like a really clean brand um, meaning it doesn't have a bunch of junk in it so here are the things that I got I got um, brightening facial scrub this is a cleansing stick so these two are for cleansing your face and then a day cream a night cream and this is an eye cream and then I got this which is for face and body it to focus um, I got this which is for face and body and it's a lotion and I thought this would be good um, as like an intensive hydration kind of mask over my face at night um, but also on my just on my body as well because I have very sensitive dry skin and the weather is getting cooler so I thought that this was a good little lineup and then the last two things I got are um, I got some Honeycrisp Apple method dish soap I think I might have gotten two of those. Oh no, and then I got some lemon mint dish soap. Um, I like that this method has like the little pump. That seemed really useful to me. So this is my little Grove haul. My most recent one, I'm really excited to try this. But I'm also excited to try these. And obviously I can't give you a review because I just opened them up, but I will let you know what I think of them for sure as I start to try them and I'll let you know what I think of this. I have body wash from this brand that I really like, so maybe I'll like that as well. As always, if you want to check Grove out, it's a great online retailer for a whole bunch of different things, lots of homemakey, householdy kind of stuff, as you can tell. They have a lot of natural leaning stuff like this, and then they have some of the more traditional stuff like Method. Um, and if you use my link below, you get five things for free with your first order. But just wanted to share this. Really excited to try these. Okay, I just opened this up and sprayed it and wiped down a portion of my countertop. This does remind us of Disney. Riley agrees. We can't put our finger on what. It does. It just maybe kind of, it kind of smells like the orange blossom products. Yes. The hair stuff. Yeah. In the, when you're staying at a Disney resort, they give you obviously like most resorts, they give you shampoo, conditioner, body wash. And this, this smells very close to that, that kind of orangey, citrusy. Ooh, I love this. I really need to clean our kitchen up as I just showed you. It's an actual disaster because, um, well, there's really no excuse. The reason that I'm gonna give is because it was launch week for Etsy and so I've been on my computer like all day Wednesday, all day Thursday, and all day Friday. But I'm excited to use this. New cleaning supplies, man. It just makes me so excited to clean. Riley's laughing at me, but I know some of you get it. Like. I can't wait to clean my whole kitchen with this tonight. It smells really good. It's this weird scent. There's the scent. Tangelo Palm Frond. Is that a different language? What I don't know what that is, but it definitely does smell like Disney. Also, I'm wearing my day robe. I'm gonna eat dinner and then I'm gonna clean. And I'm kind of excited about it. All right, for dinner tonight, I'm having leftover pasta and I just heated up some garlic bread, so that's gonna be my dinner. And then we're gonna tackle this. Ugh, disaster. We're trying this edible cookie dough that we got from Sam's from that cookie dough company. It is fantastic. I couldn't eat this whole thing if my life depended on it, so I'm glad we're splitting this because it's just so rich, but it is absolutely I mean, it tastes exactly like chocolate chip cookie dough. So if you like that, you would love this. All right, I have you guys set up on a tripod. I'm gonna get to cleaning this messy, 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 messy kitchen. And I thought I would give you a time lapse because I know how satisfying they are. So let's get this done.
All right, that took a little while, but it was well worth it after, I usually wipe down the kitchen like every day and it's been a solid three to four days, so it needed a full out scrub down. I hope you enjoyed following along with that. This is amazing. This smells so good. This stuff is not inexpensive. It's quite expensive. I think this is like 10 bucks or something, so it's quite a lot. So this will be a once in a while type of thing, but it really does smell like Disney, so it made cleaning really fun. Um, so yeah, so I can do my favorite thing. I've already lit my candle. And now we have a nice clean kitchen and we can relax. Good morning, it's Sunday, and look, it's sunny outside. I have not seen sun coming through in, I mean, literally three weeks, y'all. It has not been sunny. I just need to tell you that this is the best, the best, the best stuff. Whoever recommended this to me, thank you. It smells so amazing, and the scent lingers. Like, I cleaned the kitchen last night. It's now, obviously, Sunday morning, and the whole kitchen and the house just smells amazing still because of this. I'm all about this. I want to try some of their other scents, but this one definitely does have a Disney reminder, so I'll stop talking about it, but that does smell so good, and the kitchen still smells good. That might trump the um, Mrs. Meyers apple cider spray for me because it just, the Mrs. Meyers apple cider spray smells good while you're cleaning it, but then it goes away, but it still smells really good. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and upload um, footage from last week and get that going. And um, I also want to add into that video, I want to show my new Etsy line because I'm really proud of it and excited about it. Let's get this to focus. There we go. I just got ready for church. I have this new shirt on that's from Gap. It has like embroidered little stars on it. I thought that was cute. So anyway, I'm going to go do that. But it's Sunday morning now. I'm so happy it's sunny. We've woken up to a pitch black house, like a dark, overcast, rainy house for three weeks, and it's sunny. It feels so good. Hey guys, we just got finished up with church, and we served in kids, and we are hungry and ready for something to eat. So we are heading out to, it's called Market Days. If you've been following along with my channel for a long time, and through my Rooted series, I talked about how there's this, there's this outlet mall in Gainesville that's this giant outlet mall that's completely empty. It has no stores, but it's really cool because they've changed it into this once a month, they call it market days, and it's for a weekend every month, and a bunch of vendors come out, a bunch of food trucks come out, so it's really nice. So now we are about to go and walk around, grab something to eat, shop a little bit here at market, market days, market days, and I'll show you um, whatever I'm able to show you, but it should be really fun. It's a beautiful day. It's sunny, whoa, for the first time in literally weeks. I know I've said that like 20 times, but we like sun <laughs> and it was a long time with no sun so that's what we're up to what are you gonna get um the cowboy oh you're gonna get coffee yeah first. oh you want to get food too well i'm not that hungry but you probably are yeah there's a lot of good barbecue i ate breakfast here. but riley didn't but um they have the best coffee food truck here called lone star latte and they make these amazing kind of unique coffee drinks mm, can't wait all right, here it is. You can see the big outlet mall. It's huge. It goes way down, but here's like the food truck area. So we're going to go find something to eat. Here's the Lone Star coffee. And here's what I'm getting. Here's what I got. It's um, cold brew with sweetened condensed milk and raspberry syrup. It's this really interesting combination that they have here that I tried a couple months ago and I loved it. And Riley got cold brew with caramel. We're going to walk around and shop a little bit. There are all these giant places where there used to be stores in the um, outlet mall that they've just made into little booths for vendors. It's really fun to walk around in here. We just grabbed some lunch from a really good barbecue food truck. I got a chopped brisket sandwich with barbecue sauce on the side and Riley got this crazy thing. It's called an American egg roll and it has like chopped brisket and mac and cheese and jalapeno in it or something. Yeah. You dip it in ranch and barbecue. And Obviously, a, as you can see, he's on a new diet. <laughs> I got a, a Mike Madonna here who was a yeah. hockey player in Dallas. This is the most lovely Sunday afternoon. It's just gorgeous. The weather is so lovely. So we're gonna enjoy lunch. We just got back in our car after market days. This was our favorite one yet because the weather is so gorgeous right now. It's like 
there's a crispness in the air, but it's not cold at all. It's just so lovely. We sat outside while we were eating lunch and then afterwards for like at least probably 30 minutes or an hour. It was just so nice. So we're gonna head home now. My goal today that I don't wanna do, but I feel that I need to, whoa, is um, to clean the bathrooms. Ugh. I hate cleaning the bathrooms but it really does need to get done. So we'll see about all that, but it's been a really nice morning. The only things that we bought, Riley bought some beef jerky from a local company and then we bought some fresh homemade salsa from a local company, both for our little upcoming cabin trip that we've been buying little fun things for and stashing away. So that'll be fun. I don't care for beef jerky, but I do love good salsa as long as it doesn't have too much cilantro in it because I really don't like cilantro. <laughs> but actually, we actually tasted this, it was super good. So anyway, we're heading home now. That was fun. What do you think? Yeah, that was the best one yet. Yeah, it was. The weather was just so gorgeous. <sighs> it's been such a nice weekend. Just like fun and restful, hasn't it? Yeah. It's been so lovely. After a really intense work week, this has been a great weekend. All right, now that it is Sunday, evening it's like four o'clock i have women's bible study at six so i have about two hours i'm going to do my weekly to-do list plan which i have shared in many many different vlogs this is an erin condren notebook that i use to do it i've been using this method for at least a full year i think I, it's hard to tell i don't really remember but i've been using doing it for a while it works great for me i've done videos about it you can go check those out um but it really works well one of my favorite things about the Erin Condren covers is, let me see if I can do this. You can pull, you can see, you can pull the covers off and switch them out for holidays and things, which I really like. And so even though I'm not a big fan of Halloween, I thought this was really cute. And since we are in the very last weeks of um, October, and so Halloween is next Wednesday, I thought I would switch out. There's a front and a back cover and put on a little Halloween cover. Um because the pumpkins has ser have served me well throughout September and October, and I, I love this one. I think it's cute, and I'll obviously save it to use again next year. And then I also picked up, just because this makes me, these covers make me so happy, it's just like a daily dose of joy, and it's a very affordable little joy. So this was my September and October cover. This is gonna be my late, um, late October cover. I got this one with the gold foil for November. I thought it reminded me of Thanksgiving and late fall, so that's gonna be my November cover. I'm obsessed with this one. This is my December cover. It has gold foil on it, and it's um, Christmas trees, so that's gonna be my, my December cover. And then this one is gonna be my January cover. So I went a little nuts, but I just think they're so much fun. I really, really love them, and I love having a little collection of them to change out. It's just it's something that makes me really happy. And you know what? You gotta find little things that make you happy. Little affordable, fun luxury. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put, pull the other pumpkin cover off the back and go ahead and put the um, Halloween one on. And then I'm gonna set up my week and I'll show you my week once I'm done. Again, these are all from Erin Condren. If you're new to my channel, then if you click on the link below, well, even if you're not new to my channel, but I've said this a lot before. If you click on my link below, it's a referral link. And so you will get a $10 gift certificate. So these notebooks are $20 and they come with your choice of a cover and then each additional cover set is $10. So it's a pretty affordable little way and they're obviously totally reusable. So I won't have to buy these again next year. I'll just be able to reuse them, which is fun. All right, I'm gonna put these on, set up my week and then I'll show you once I do that. That took me about 15 minutes, which is pretty typical. So here's what the covers look like on the front and back. I think that's really cute for the last couple of weeks of October around um, around Halloween. So here's how, each, how I lay out each day. I write down the date at the top and then I write down the things that I know that I need to do. And then in the morning, as a part of my morning routine, which I've done a video about my quick morning routine, after I kind of wake up, get myself together, get my bedroom together, and get the kitchen together, I add anything else to this list that I think that I might need to do. If I need to run to the grocery store and pick up something, if I need to call somebody, if I need to respond to an email, if I whatever I need to do, I just write down on my daily to-do list. And then throughout the day, I cross things off until at the end of the day, everything's crossed off. And if there's anything that's not, then I draw a line through it with an arrow on the end, meaning I'm pushing it to the next day, and then I copy it onto the next day's 
um, list. And that's just how I do my planning. I don't have like a planner. My planner is my Google Calendar, which is synced. My husband and I have a synced Google Calendar and we absolutely love it because we both have access to everything that's going on. And it's just very, it just is very functional for us. But this is more like daily to do's, what I need to get done goes here. So tomorrow I don't have a whole lot that I need to get done um, that I can put down here, which probably usually means I'll fill it in with housework. So I could probably, our floors could probably use some vacuuming, could probably use, you know, just like a few things like that. I, like I said, I need to clean the bathrooms. If I don't get that done today, I'll probably do it tomorrow. You get the idea. So that's how I do my planning. And um, the covers make it fun. <laughs> Let's be real. The covers really do make it fun. Hey y'all, welcome to my messy office <laughs> um i'm gonna sign off and um, end this vlog now it's about 5 45 so i need to head out the door um for my bible study that starts at six with the women at my church and so i gotta gotta hit the road um but i really appreciate you watching and following along with my little saturday and sunday weekend vlog i hope you enjoy just a couple of relaxing wonderful days i really actually enjoy vlogging these kinds of days because they're just like joyful they're like really good memories and so it's fun to document them it's fun to relive them when i'm editing the video and it's fun to share them and so i don't know i, I like i really do like i like vlogging in general but especially fun little weekends we both had pretty stressful work weeks last week so being able to really just hang out together and just have a good time this weekend was just such a gift it was really nice anyway i'm gonna sign off like i said if you haven't already checked out my new etsy line i recommend that you do it when this video goes up you'll still have two or three more days to use the code youtube ship which is a code that i shared in my last weekly vlog number 49 that will give you free shipping if you live in the united states through this coming friday um, so this this video should be going up on a Wednesday. So in two days that this coming Friday So if you haven't already checked it out, I'm really proud of it I would love for you to go give it a look and if you want to grab anything make sure to use that code and I will ship it to you for free Which is especially useful when you are talking about like sweatshirts and comfort colors things that are heavy that cost like eight or ten bucks for you for shipping. I have your shipping covered right now, so don't miss out. Anyway, thanks again for following along. I would love if you would give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it, and I will see you guys soon. There will not be a video this coming Friday, so don't be looking for a video this coming Friday, but I will see you next Monday. I think I'm going to post my October favorites next Monday, so I'll see you guys then. Have a great rest of your week and a great weekend, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.